be in between something. It's got its good points and its bad points, you know. Because sometimes you get the stupidest questions when you're a twin. People walk up to you, they see us standing next to each other. Y'all twins? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my cousin. <laughs> you know, it ain't easy, man. It has some good points and its bad points. I went to visit him one time, right? He lived in Kansas. I went to Kansas. And uh, he didn't tell me this. I got arrested in Kansas because he had a warrant out there. <laughs> and then I come back home, I get a letter in the mail telling me that my license is suspended. And I'm like, I ain't get no tickets. I'm like, can you tell me what happened? It happened in Kansas. I'm like, that's all the way. <laughs> so having a twin ain't all this cracked up to be. Why well, everybody got to be hard though now? You know that everybody want to be hard? When they pass all down to the pit, now the butt crack. Where everybody got to be a thug? You ain't got to be no thug. I saw this dude trying to call himself a thug. He's my cousin. So we go out to eat. And he tuck his napkin in his shirt. I'm like, you ain't no thug if you tuck your napkin in your shirt, bro. That ain't thug. That ain't thug. And then I seen him up in Kroger's. He's sniffing the tie and the game. I said, that ain't thuggish, bro. You ain't no thug. You just playing thug. And then you really ain't no thug if when you go to the bathroom, you got to put toilet paper down on the toilet. You ain't no real thug. You ain't no thug. Speaking of bathroom, anybody here working in the office setting? Working out a lot of people. Okay, so you, you, y'all know what I'm coming from. I'm working in the hospital, okay? So you know there's certain rules when you got to do number two at work, right? Nice. Certain rules. You cannot do number two on your floor. <laughs> right? You got to go to another floor to do number two. <laughs> and then you, you know you got to put that toilet paper down because you ain't no thug. Right? <laughs> you ever been putting the toilet paper down on the toilet seat? You got it all like how you want it? And you about to sit there and then the toilet paper go in the toilet. Paper. Oh my God! I'm about to sit there shaking. You got to get you know, you that toilet paper down. Two heads. I ain't even sitting there. Now, is it just me? I just want to make sure that it's me. And sometimes you just feel uncomfortable getting up with other people in the bathroom. You know, you're ready to get up. And as soon as you're ready to get up, somebody come in. <laughs> My hands, but I didn't drown. As soon as I came out the bathroom, I was like, What's up, bro? What's up? And she just said, like, I'm got to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's nasty. That's nasty. You ever went in the bathroom and somebody already blew it up? <laughs> you were washing your hands. And while you were washing your hands, somebody else come in. They looking at you like you were <laughs> You ever was the one who really blew it up? It wasn't me. Let me tell y'all what happened to me one time. I had it going so bad. No, no, I didn't. I was, um, that did have to go. But I had to do number two, I had to do number one. But I went in there, it was so bad. I had to go back there. I just peed on myself. I said, Forget it. I'm not going. I'm just going. It was that bad. You ever walk in on somebody? Yeah. In the bathroom? You ever do that? That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing for both parties, ain't it? I don't know who's more embarrassed, the walker or the walkie. You know, and what happens as soon as you go in, you know, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't see you in there. 
And they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady told me that, so I went on there and started washing my hands. <laughs> went on to the cafeteria like I was going to. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fun going to work. What about when you go to church? I like going. Everybody ain't go to church? Amen. I go to church. I'm going to tell you, I ain't always been in church. I ain't always been saved. I used to be an atheist. Any atheists in here? Somebody said, oh. <laughs> Let me tell y'all why I'm not an atheist no more. Well, one time we was out on a fishing trip. It was me, Calvin, and uh, yeah, Clay. See, that's why I duck it. Calvin, he was an atheist right with me. And it was our friend named Steve. We was all atheists, right? We was out on a fishing trip just admiring the, the beauty of a, uh, the Big Bang. Just look at all this, the Big Bang, the okay, evolution that got us all here. We just admiring. All of a sudden, a bear jumped out. Oh. And so Calvin was the fastest, so we took off. I'm like, man, come on back, Calvin, come on, leave us. And then so it's me and Steve, we racing. I look at Steve, Steve look at me, Steve like, man, we ain't gonna be able to outrun this bear. I said, Steve, I ain't got to outrun the bear, I just got to outrun you. <laughs> <laughs> so I outrun him, and the bear jump on Steve back. And the bear about to kill him, the bear about to All of a sudden, Steve was like, Lord, Lord, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Everything free. Clouds part, a voice from heaven. You called my son. <laughs> and Steve, like, oh God, you're real? And me and Calvin were like, he's real. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he said, God, I, it would be hypocritical of you to, to save me, so can you do me a favor and make this bear a Christian? God said, it is done, my son. All of a sudden the bear is like, thank you, Lord, for this food. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that day, me and Calvin have been saved. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Steve, but man, he was saved, he was so good, God, I don't know, I don't understand like that, I don't understand like that, I'm not going to say. Okay, let me tell y'all, there's a few things happen in church that I don't like. I don't like lying in church, there's a lot of lying going on in church, especially up in the full pits. Any pastors in here? You got a few pastors? Okay. If you're a pastor, don't lie. Don't get up there and say, I ain't going to be before you long today. <laughs> Especially if you know you're going to win. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then, and on the other end, don't get up here and say, I'm about to close. I'm about to close. See, I'm closing my Bible. I'm about to close. But then you pull out an iPad and keep going. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. There's some, there's some, other, some other lines from the congregation, too. You know, you, everybody fat. Falling out, you know, passing laying hands on you, everybody falling out, falling out. Quit faking, y'all. If the spirit ain't hit you, don't go down. This is serious. Don't be faking. Don't play with God like that. And let me tell y'all what happened to me one time. Dude was laying hands. And I wasn't going down. I mean, he was laying hands hard. He was, I was bracing myself. I ain't going down, bro. I ain't going down. He was like, and then he got real close to my ear and whispered. Everybody thought he was praying for me. He was like, brother, you're making me look bad. You have to go to hell. You have to go to hell, brother. You have to go to hell. And then one of the catcher people behind me, he kneed me in the back of the knee like, man. Yeah. So y'all yeah, knew I went down, right? And then the next time I came up, he called me up. I ain't even fight it, because it's breath stank, so I went down. <laughs> that should be the only time you fake it, it's breath stank. <laughs> oh, man, what else going on? What else is going on in the church? What about the preacher hype man? Y'all know the preacher hype man? <laughs> That's the preacher can't say nothing without you saying, hey, Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! The son can't get a word out of his mouth without you shouting. Let me tell you how to go to sleep in church. I used to sit in the pulpit. I used to sit in the pulpit. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Calvin, Calvin get there sometimes. If he wasn't up on the camcorder, I mean, he like, I used to zoom in on you using that pulpit. I'm like, for real? It's etiquette to fall asleep in the pulpit. I know you got them big old chairs like way over here. Okay. So you sit, put the Bible on your lap. But you got to open up to the 23rd Psalm or something. Open it up. Just go to sleep. <laughs> but you can't be snoring. You can't snore. And then when you wake up and realize if you fell asleep, you can't just get up. You got to turn the pages on the Bible. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> make make like you were dreaming. <laughs> you ever been asleep and just been startled? Just startled real quick. That happened to me one time. I was asleep and turned the pages. Like, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> 
He looked at me like, brother, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, let me talk about one more thing and I'm going to get out of here, man. Because I am hungry. They said I got food in the back, but I'm hungry. I've been on a fast, y'all. I've been fasting for the last 20, 21 minutes. <laughs> I am hungry, but y'all got to stop cheating on y'all fast, okay? The fast is 6 to 6. That don't mean you wake up at 4.30 and cook the biggest breakfast in the world. <laughs> that don't mean that. You know, and then you sit down eating your food real quick and you count down the time. I only got 20 seconds left. You got to hear me this talk. <laughs> and then, you know, when you get home, you start cooking at like 5.30. <laughs> it's like 5.58, 20 seconds left. You sit there. <laughs> then you start praying. Lord, thank you for this food. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I hope that wasn't just me. I hope that wasn't just me. Amen. I thank you for my time. My name is JB. That's the ugly twin. I'm bring it back up. Come on, buddy. JB. I know he went lying about the twin thing. I, he ain't tell y'all what he did to me when he got out of jail. He went down, uh, this was on a Friday night. The next morning, him and my friend uh, got up and went to Walmart. Right? You know, he was in a small city. He was in a suburb of Kansas City. And he was down in Walmart. And you know, if you only got one Walmart in the whole city, that's where everybody goes. Everybody goes to one Walmart. So he go on Walmart, and he said people I know. And they thinking he me, because he walking around with my friend. And he, he going around, I didn't know what happened. So I go to work the next day, I'm sorry, that Monday, I go to work, and I go in there and I'm saying, hey, how you doing, Phyllis? She's like, what do I do to Phyllis? Keep on going, going, hey, what's up, Joe? <laughs> so what I do? Then I go in there and sit down, I get a call from my supervisor, uh, Mr. Bolton, can you come see me? So I went over there and said, hey, how you doing, sorry? Um, so now you want to speak to me? As I saw you in Walmart, you rolling your eyes at me, flipping me off, doing all this stuff. I didn't go to Walmart. What you talking about? Come on, Mr. Bolton. That's why your evaluation is where it is right now. Be honest. He ain't telling on himself. He got me back, y'all. He got me back. So right, I'm going to bring up this next to me.